Hey guys, this is Shinx and welcome back to another One Piece Bounty Rush video. So in this video, yep, we'll be taking a look at the Magellan. So, uh, I, I don't have him, so I got, uh, I asked permission from the one of the Japanese YouTubers to, to see if I can take some of his footage and we'll take a look at how good he actually is. And because a lot of people have been asking me, should I go for um, Magellan or Ivankov or like Snake Man? So, like, my answer to you is please wait like we don't know how good snake man is in by right he should be really good but you never know because it's bandai being bandai anything can happen so yeah we'll be taking a look at it so that you guys can make the whole just judgment of like uh depending on your play style whoever you like to use something like that so okay one little tip for magellan is you kind of, if you can, right, try to go for this thing called the Seven Warlords of the Sea uh, type effect. This, what it does at level 600 is when your strength is more than 50%, increase status effect, infliction effect time by 30%. So this means that if the effect lasts for 10 seconds, you will increase it by 3 seconds. So it will be 13 seconds. So kind of important for characters such as Magellan because he's... Um, his special poison, right, actually does decent amount of damage. Like, you can if you can increase it, right, that will be pretty much your primary source of damage. Then, okay, then the thing about this combo is, number one, there's still not a lot of characters. Like, you, as you can see here, there's only like nine characters. So you need six out of nine of these characters. Even I don't, one, two, three, four... Fine. Yeah, I don't even have any, like a six proper set for this medal to work out, for this type effect to work out. So that's kind of sad. So yeah, just just some things uh the whales can do like or you somehow somehow worked on all of the warlords. You know, you can try to go for that combo. But uh, let's take a look at it. So as you guys know, he has an absurd amount of defense and HP, but uh this compensated by the low AF um attack. So his skill 1, very very strong, long range attack with knockback and chance to inflict uh, venom. So this ability is, the skill attack is 615 but take note that because of his low amount of attack, he doesn't really do that much damage. And recommended um, builds I feel like will be attack and HP, something like that. Um, Or maybe you want to focus on HP defend, I really don't know which one works out but I feel like after the bug medals nerf right like defense just went back to being not that good and yeah this guy really has very low attack already so yeah kind of that then the thing is about this skill is the venom effect time is 10 seconds so each time right okay so when you whack use the demon the demon will hit for a uh, will last for about let's say 10 seconds something like that there's so many here like oh my god so yeah it will probably last for oh no no it spawns for about 15 seconds then they will just keep swiping and if they get hit they will just get repoisoned yeah so essentially these 15 seconds if you hit the opponent at the start and at the end you might extend the poison duration for like because 10 and 10 and 10 again so you might last do poison damage for like 20 seconds and this poison damage is based on their um hp yeah so it's about two percent per one second on their opponent's hp if they have about like i'll say that roughly people do get hit for about 400 per tick something like that then this skill is the weaker poison it's a mid-range attack that uh it has a little bit of a it lasts for a while then the thing is this poison only 1.15 so this poison is not that good but it has attack reduction and it's also kind of cool short cooldown yeah this one has a decent a uh, long cooldown but it like if you keep taking damage right you will recover it ra rather fast because of his traits like his traits right he has a lot of chance to inflict poison then the poison i'm pretty sure is the 1.15% then when in his own treasure area reduce damage by 30% when his HP is less than more than 50% uh 
um, reduce damage taken by another 30%. So he, he's kind of a little bit of tanky, tanky feel. Then when receiving damage, 100% chance to reduce skill 1 cooldown by 5%. Then also it's... Yeah, then when your HP is more than 50%, you get to survive one uh, one shot hits. Yeah, then other than that, I'm so sorry for <laughs> brambling a lot. But yeah, I just want to talk about his skills. Then without further ado, let's just get started on the video, shall we? Okay, so first gameplay will be in Drum Island. So he's using, I believe, I can't exactly remember what build he's using. I think he's using defense build, but I could be wrong. Then you guys will see how good the damage reduction actually is. Let me just... Okay, so someone is... I think... Is he gonna go up? I think... Yeah. Okay, so... One thing to take note of, obviously, is skill 1. If you're using your skill, please, please, please make sure there's no shanks with his counter because you're gonna get wrecked, bro. Yeah, that's, that's kind of one thing. So he's using, because of how the skill 1 is long range, you can kind of use it. And just take note of that because, okay, yeah. Unless you know, the thing about it, Magellan is, oh, look at that, look at that, look at that HP poison. Five, 500 per hit, boys. And that's, just, that's not including your base demon uh, damage. So yeah, okay. Let's just... Skip back to the next Magellan gameplay. Okay, so take note that he's, he was playing against Blackbeard and Shanks. And you can see he, he actually took uh, quite a decent amount, like a lot of da damage reductions, which is very, very, very decent. Like this guy, if he's in his own treasure area and his HP is above 50%, right? Holy, the amount of damage reduction, 60% damage reduction. He can pretty much tank quite a lot of stuff. Then just take note that 30% is from his own treasure area. So here, oh, there's Shanks. Yeah, you, you just want to be... He got hit by the, I think the... Oh. But one thing to take note of is even if you are down, right, your demon will still continue attacking. So it's kind of like a big mom thing, you know. Then I feel like Magellan is very, very, very similar to big mom. Like the thing is... Is that's good and bad. Like, okay, you see, take a look at his normal attacks. Uh, his normal attacks, honestly, is quite bad. Like, take a look at this. He's, he, wait, actually, no. <laughs> yeah, one thing to take note of is he's like Big Mom, but the thing is, he's not even as good as, like, his normal attack is not as good as Big Mom. When you think that Big Mom's normal attack is really quite bad, right? This guy's normal attack is even worse, like, Number one is very very slow. Then the range is also not insane. Yeah, so just just take note of that. But the thing is you can you are compensated by your decently fast skill cooldown reductions because if you keep taking damage and you have damage reduction um mods, right? Like you will you'll feel it out quite uh a lot and while taking less damage. Yeah. Kind of sad he don't really have any defense boost or anything. Cause that will that will make him really really decent. So yeah, let's just move on to the next part. If I'm not wrong, it's about... Oh, it's about here. Okay. So, the next gameplay is in Sabody, I think. So, let's just get into it. Okay, so this is the Sabody one. Then, you can see he's like... I think he's... At about level 90, he has about 20k HP. Oh my god. Wait. So take a look at this. He's Obviously, he's a defender. That's why he has to defend. Then, I think 2% is trying to come over to him. Okay. Like, this guy, the good thing about the skill 1 is, if opponent has, like, just normal attacks, right? Honestly speaking... Oh my god, you, you should be very, very scared. Like, the thing is, if you're just playing normal attacks, right, you have to watch out for both his normal attacks plus the... His normal attack or skills plus the demon's attack. Like, take a look at that. Holy! Like, even with base amount of, like, 
very very low attack right he still deals a decent amount of like damage like he did about 6k without attack uh, medals and that's not including the poison effect yeah so the poison will add for about another 4 5k 4 5k yeah so yeah as you can see when you spawn the demon right even if you get knocked but knocked down right you, it, it will still spawn and attack people so you'll miss the first hit though that's that's kind of sad but the rest of the hits is still okay yeah like like his normal attacks is just not too good man whether you guys should summon for him i honestly doubt so oh my god the lag bro okay yeah as you can see even if he's down he he whacked the luffy and bro, <laughs> remember, remember what this look like. Yeah, as you can see, the amount of damage reduction, bro. Like, and yeah, he got cancelled a bit. But his normal attack just still whacked that Luffy. Oh my god. And the thing is, he was fighting against time skip Luffy. And time skip Luffy's normal attacks are insane. So you can see that he keeps getting charged with that skill 1. Which is really, really, really good. It's like Kaido, you know. But... Kaido's uh, uh skill Yeah, it's it's kind of like Kaido where you keep if you keep hitting him with like you will get like you feed his skill one, you know. So yeah, that's the normal attacks. Probably not the best to be honest. Oh my god, look at that. About yeah, you see generally people get poisoned for about four hundred. Yeah. So honestly I think that's kind of that for the gameplays. I am so sorry I don't have Magellan Ben. <laughs> the game just hates me. So, in short, I feel like he is just like... One thing to clarify for Ivankov is... Uh, like, I think Ivankov's skill 1 removes Shanks' uh, attack buffs when even if he killed an opponent. But the thing is, in my video of Ivankov, it didn't work for... Kaido's uh, skill 2 buff which makes me think that what she removed is the traits buff so characters like Shanks that has a trait where when you kill an opponent buff attack by this amount uh, yeah you get your yeah buff attack then Kaido one is because his skill itself buff his abilities so that's different type of buff then just take note that Ivankov is actually kind of a Shanks counter bro like you can get up close to him, you can kind of cancel away all his 100% attack. Bro, that, that's actually insane. Then, back to Magellan. I don't think he's that. He's he's very strong, but I don't think he's that good. Like, he's decent. But one thing to take note of, obviously, is as a defender, I usually keep saying that I look out for, like, healing properties. And this guy don't really have much heals besides his boot, his traits. But he does have a lot of damage mitigation. And his skill 1, even though it's really, really good, is really, when there's shanks, right, you really have to take take note. And I kind of don't like really like something like that. Then skill 2 is too slow. It's like Kuma's ability. And it doesn't, when an opponent is running away, right, you cannot really use it to chase after an opponent. That's why I kind of think he's, he's just mad. But once you hit that poison, man, He's gonna do some big damage, bro. Like, as a defender, if he's solo tanking, I think that one metal combo you can do for that is the Kuma Revolutionary e Army combo. Because that combo can give uh, damage reduction when in your own treasure area. Yeah. Then, or you can stack with like 3 reduced damage when in your own captured treasure. That could work too. Like, you'll get 75% damage reduction. Which is very good. Like, even if your HP goes below 50%, you will, if you are still in your treasure area, you'll get a 30 plus 15%. So, very decent. Like, 45% cooldown reduction. Then, you know, 45% damage reduction. So, yep. Um, I think that's kind of that for this video, guys. Make sure you guys check out uh, Machopoyo Games. Then, yeah, I'll put the, his channel in the description down below for the full live stream of him using Magellan then honestly that's kind of that for this video guys let me know your thoughts about him like if you guys think I'm saying wrong things wrong like I feel like 
uh, he's he's okay. Like he's not that worth it. Like he's there's quite a lot of downsides to, yeah. But other than that, his poison is insane. Like he has a lot of area effects. Then the skill two lingers for there for a while. So yeah, it's good when people aren't noticing you. You know. So yep, I think that's kind of that for this video, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.